There are legitimate concerns that people ought to have about this deal that are going to be articulated over the next five weeks. You've articulated them over the past three or four weeks. You articulated them this morning. The bottom line in this deal is going to come down to if the, if the, if the Senate is listening and if people are listening and they're not playing politics, and of course you play politics with everything in Washington, here's the deal on this deal that if the Senate votes it down, Iran will have a nuclear weapon within a year and a half. Within a year and a half. This gives you a decade's worth of freeze on their ability to develop a nuclear weapon. So there's your choice, basically. There's well, your cosmic gamble. A year and a half or ten years. There is your cosmic I, gamble. I, You're I, correct. Um, well, that all depends, really. I mean, if Iran wants to take that cosmic gamble themselves of going ahead and crossing the ultimate red line and think that the French and the United States and the rest of the world are going to stand by and let them get a nuclear weapon and Israel, I think that would be a cosmic gamble on Iran's side, and I think Iran would lose. If, well, first of all... And I'm not even throwing in you, all this, the, the Sunni states across the Middle East. You, I think it's Iran and Barack Obama against the world in that scenario. You have to back up a little on that as well, Joe, when you're looking at the deal, if, you, if, you, if you're inclined to favor some sort of settlement in the Middle East, okay? Now, people have been trying to reach a deal like this on both sides for decades. What's going to happen here is in order to vote against the deal and use the language that's been employed in coming against the deal by some people, not you, you have to believe that Iran is suicidal at some core, that they want a nuclear weapon to drop it on Tel Aviv. If they ever did that, Tehran would be a combination of glass and sand and cement within 15 minutes. Yes, they would. Okay. Uh, at the same time, though, a nuclear weapon gives countries like Pakistan so much power that you have now, I, I haven't talked to a foreign policy expert over the past five, ten years, it doesn't say Pakistan's the most dangerous country on the face of the earth. Would it, we like Iran to switch? Yes. I mean, a, 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 an Iran that comes into the community of nations is, uh, is, is a, a, a great trade-up for the Middle East, for the world. But over the past couple of weeks, you've had their leader <laughs> continuing talking True. about, talking about wiping around, uh, uh, Israel off the face of the earth, calling yeah. us the great Satan, yeah, it's saying they were going to do everything they can do to damage the United States of America. They, they, we have done a deal, Barack Obama has done a deal with Iran, and over the past week or two, all they have done is actually fed into the, the critics like myself who believe they can't change. They're my, incapable of changing. Give them a nuclear weapon, and then they have the power of Pakistan. Can I ask Mike this question? I, how do you answer the question? And, and two, if I was in the Senate, I don't know how I would vote, but there are two questions that would be prominent on my, my mind. One, the Iranians will have an additional $150 billion over the next several years. The concern right. whether they provide, build their own weapon or do they furnish uh, help to other uh, terrorist organizations in the Middle East? And two, does this spark a nuclear arms race amongst the other Gulf states? Those are the two questions. I, I, I hear Secretary Kerry, and I tend to agree with him, but those two questions I'm not, been, I'm not settled on yet, and it's, it's unclear to me how we reconcile or find answers that are suitable to, I think, members of the Senate and, and others, even after the points you just made. I understand that I'm not the Secretary of State, I just play him on TV. <laughs> okay. <laughs> the, 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 to answer your first question, the $150 billion, again, it's like the nuclear weapon itself. The $150 billion deliverance to Iran would be, again, be expedited with no deal. There'd be Peugeot dealerships in downtown Tehran within five months. I, I, mean, I, 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 just, I totally disagree with that. The French have been tougher on this issue than America. Well, I think the French, the Russians, and the Chinese would be doing commercial business in Iran within six months. The United States of America is still the United States of America, even though Barack Obama doesn't believe it. The United States oh, by stop. itself is so extraordinarily powerful that, you know, that unilaterally we can bring the French with us, and then if we say we're going to do this, I think we learned that. We can the bring deal. the French with us, and I think we can bring the British with us. Uh, I, just, I, I just, I just, I, 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 my, my only thing I'm saying, Mike, is I, I, I do think that we can take a stand and we can pull other countries with us. I, yes, I personally I think, we think can. that. Yes. We, yeah. We have done that to the